Rất là chớp All right, fellas, man, I'm just going to show you my new bow, man. It's going to be a 1972 Bear Kodiak. One of my first shots. Two of them babies went right in that little bitty ass circle. Whoo! 1972 Fred Bear Kodiak Hunter. Kodiak Hunter. It's only 50 pounds for me, man, but I sure like it a lot better. I like vintage, man. I like vintage. That gold coin, the gold coin flat with the uh riser. They uh in '72 they went over the gold coin flat with the riser. They did have some nickel coins in '71 and '72, but the gold coin was the only year in '72 flat with the riser. Then they went to gold, uh, gold and, and uh, silver raised the uh, plastic ones. Check it out. Nice lime green silk screens, matches the arrows. Yeah, Kodiak on a it's not perfect shape. It's got a little bit of stress lines there. Not much. But man, talk about a beautiful bow. 43 pounds at 28, 60 AMO. I'm getting 50 pounds out of it. Anyway, I want to show you guys my new bow, man. Let's try a moving shot with it. Hold on, let me pause it. Try moving. Those are my first shots. I just tied that knock on, pinched it down. Just put the string on. UPS man just brought it in. Sure like the color of the old bows. I like the I like the vintage bows, man. I'll be using this bow quite a bit. Hold on a minute. Man, for all you guys out there that don't got the hunter, you don't got the Kodiak hunter, or you never shot a Kodiak hunter. It's like it's just steps above the bear grizzly. I really like the Kodiak hunter. Anyway, well, let's give it a shot. I have not shot you seen the first shots with this bow. Brand new in hand. I just put a D97 on it, put a string on it. Cleaned it off a little bit. Put the quiver on. Beautiful gold coin medallion, kind of a reddish gold wood there. Got that black stripe in there, nice facing. I like this hunter a lot better than like the newer hunters. It's a little shinier, but I like the lime green silk screens. I like a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of the shine on the bows over the duller newer ones. Anyway, let's give it a shot. I got four arrows here, man. I hit it once. I'll just stop the video. See if I can hit it one time. There we go. Give it a shot moving. 1972 Fredbear Kodiak Hunter. Right behind it. Woo! Try to get it. All right, that's better. I was a little slow on my release the first shot. So it took the second shot to get right on it, but go to Hunter, man. The other arrow's right there, I think. I knew I was a little bit behind. I released a little bit uh, too slow. Got the original old uh, bear hair rest on it, and I'm missing a little bit there of the uh, leather or whatever, but it seems to be shooting fine, and it's quiet. I glued that down a little bit. 1972 Fredbear Kodiak Be one of my hunting bows for sure. I did. I got me a I got me a mule deer tag. I, I hit on a tag, man, on the second drill. So I'll definitely be mule deer hunting. I'll be doing some mule deer hunting and then uh yeah, either sex mule deer today. So but it's gonna I'm gonna be going out on a flat some out there. And uh I knew I could get a tag if I went out there. I like the tag out there because I can hunt all of October, November. And then there's a couple weeks of rifle or whatever, and then I can go back and hunt again in December. It's a long, uh, it's almost a whole season tag, so I like that tag. If I don't hit on a tag I want right here, then I go for that longer duration. Anyway, guys, Kodiak Hunter, you seen it, man. Just a little slow getting out of the bag, but it's first shots. I'll get some practice in with it, man. I'll be coming out here knocking tomatoes first shot. A uh, guy asked to, he said it took him 15 times or whatever, probably to hit a little inch tomato. That was the second shot, man. I swung it first time. I shot behind it like I did this one. 
And then the second one, I just busted it. That's the Kodiak Connor, the, the Byron shot. Anyway, look at that bow, fellas. I like vintage. I, I just, I prefer vintage. I like the vintage bows if you can get a decent vintage bow. This one's not bad. It has a few scratches here and there on the glass, but not bad. It's pretty good shape. Got a little bit of stress lines right there. You can see a little bit of stress lines right there. Not bad, a little bit. But just, uh, it's a gray glass, just like my other one. It's a little scratch right there. And some scratches right there. This is a hunter, man. I'm going to be hanging that up on the nail right there. One mountain bows for sure. Easy shooter, man. 50 pounds. Little babies can shoot this bow. 50 pound bow. 60 AMO for me. 1972 Fred Bear Kodiak Hunter. If you guys don't got a hunter, you got to try one. We'll see you guys. Take care.